be, you know, hitting a range. Because that's why I think, I, I'll bet you you're going to find it's not too far out of natural hearing. Uh, that's but why I'll, some people say, God, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard a voice. Uh -huh. And I think they're so close to us, to our hearing, that occasionally they do come up, up, up and out of that so if, level. So if, if, if that wave is... Is is a wave that's ranging ten to fifteen hertz. That, Every that, once in a while, that wave peaks up to above twenty. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you hear a word, you hear a voice, or, you hear like or, a little sound. Or some people with better hearing, even if it peaks up to seventeen or eighteen, they may some people with really good hearing might hear, hear a little more of that. Yeah, it may hear a whisper or something. Right. You know, they're hearing that stuff. No, I would never hear it. No. <laughs> My hearing shot. But like that guy who can hear the air conditioners going right. wah wah. That's why I'd love to find somebody that can hear that. Because and take them on an investigation <laughs> to a known haunted place to see yeah. if they can hear voices or not. That would right. be that would be cool. Well, like we were saying earlier, that could be how there are some, some legitimate medium, mediums, they, legitimate they, mediums that are hearing voices. It's, it's not a, it's not a sixth sense. It's not a magical power. It might just be you have really good hearing. Yeah, and you're actually hearing them talk. Right. And if they can hear us talk, and you're and you're actually hearing intelligent voices. Theory says you can have an intelligent conversation with them. Right. Because nobody else can hear them. You're the only one hearing them in the room because it's rare to be able to hear that. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's something to, uh, to work on and uh, just kind of see where it goes. Um, we don't have probably enough equipment to do it yet. We're working on it. Well, I, I think um, a lot of our, since we've got, I mean, this is a newer hypothesis for us. Um, so we have not really been working towards this. We were about to buy more Tascams and whatnot. But, but now I'm thinking the other way. Right. And well, we already have two of the Sanyo, so I'm thinking if they're already working, they must be recording at those lower frequencies anyways. Right. So I think our experiments are going to lean more on those a little bit. And we need to do, to do some research with other voice recorders. And I, I think that we're going to find, and, you know, I, the problem with, the voice recorders is especially the cheaper ones is they're they're cheap chinese made and they're just who knows if they're actually testing them or not right they may be putting specs on the box that are not true like if you look right. at the box of that sanyo it may say that it's recording 20 to 15 but not, no they're yeah they're, they're not but they're not actually testing that, that stuff out in the lab no so i you know so finding finding like the voice recorders like everybody uses that actually do record infrasound maybe is basically a crapshoot. And, you know, this may explain why our best re our EVPs we got were captured with that Sanyo. Right. I mean, everything else, now we did get the EVP on our one, that really good EVP on our... Sony Handycam? Sony Handycam. Right. But we don't know that could have been a disembodied voice. Right. That could have been actually right up loud enough for them to hear. They just weren't paying attention. Right. It's hard to say because that was pretty loud. Yeah. And the time I heard the witch's cackle. I call it the witch's cackle because that's what it sounded like. We heard that with our own ears. And it recorded on the Tascam. Right. However, these other ones are recording, but the, I don't know if the Tascam would even record an EVP. Or, you know, these lower frequencies. That would be, we would need. I don't think it will. We would need something that can generate. The low frequencies. You know what we need to do, and I don't know. I don't have that task game with me. I wonder if there's anything there that you can... That has a lot of adjustments on it. It's got graphic equalizers, everything else built into it. I'd have to look at it. Maybe we can lower the frequencies on that. Maybe able to. It may be. I don't know. That's something we'll have to come back and tell everybody. We'll have to look at those and see if that's something we can do with them. Well, and what we need... What, another thing we need, need to do to test out, like I just said, is we need we need something that we know is generating frequencies below our hearing so that we can test the equipment we do have well we can do that we we found recordings on our on these on, on our computers uh, on the internet right of low frequency so what we need to do is to test that theory with our recorders that we have we need to play low frequencies and see if we can re recreate those frequencies yeah because we don't even know if they, you know they're kind of most of those are just like kind of a if you listen, if you can hear them, they're just going to be, you know, they're just yeah. little sounds. Just like, 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 like a tone, a, dr a drone tone. Yeah, a drone tone. It's, yeah, it's just, it's the lower the frequency, it gets very low, very slow. Yeah. The higher, it's just higher pitch as you go up the higher right. frequencies. So 
because that means that's because that wavelength is getting longer and longer and longer as you go down 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 it gets longer and longer so um <laughs> that didn't sound right no anyways um that's what we're working on and, and and when you wonder you know this is this could be everything paranormal well this this would be a big leap if we can figure this out this we can would, prove this it's a leap big leap forward instead of everybody just doing the same old thing over and over again and just accepting the evps or electronic voice phenomena right you know this would completely change the thinking of the entire paranormal field the evps would basically no longer exist yes because ev now now here now what i don't want to say is no or i can't explain is the voice boxes or the uh, spirit boxes right when things do come over those i don't know what's going on there this no. would not have anything to do with frequencies no it has everything to do with radio frequencies but nothing to do with what we're talking about well and so, and and radio frequencies are way higher energy than what we're right. talking so if if there is something coming over those i can't explain that yeah we're not we're not talking about the frank's boxes we're talking about when you're using a voice recorder yep and doing EVP sessions. But what this will do, if we can prove this, what this will do, this is going to make the skeptics have to rethink about what they've been saying all these years. Right. Because what the skeptics have been saying all these years, oh, your recorders are just cheap recorders and they're picking up errant um, random radio waves in the, free, in the air and that's all you're hearing is voices from radio signals and because they got cheap electronics and it's just somehow getting into your re voice recorder and that's what you're hearing. Right. If we can figure out, if we can listen Which to... Which is crap. Right. That does, that's never happened. If we can listen but to these these infrasounds... Improve. And, and start having actual conversations with voices... Even if we don't have actual conversations, if we can just prove that these EVP... Well, I'm going to keep calling them EVPs for, for now. Because that's what we call them. Yeah. If they keep coming in at these low frequencies, that's pretty much going to tell us what's going on here. Right. That these spirits are talking to us in a low frequency. The sound is there. It's nothing electronic. It's nothing. It's, it's just disembodied voice coming in at a frequency we cannot hear. And that's right. the hypothesis we're working on. And we're just going to keep going with it until we can. And we'll keep reporting back every week and uh, let you know where, we're, where we are with it. Sounds like a plan. So I guess that's about all we have to say about it this week. Um, hey, guess what I'm doing? What are you doing? I'm going to be, I, I, I'm making wine. I've been buying all this stuff to make wine. I'm going to make, uh, I got two five-gallon carboys. I went up to the uh, vineyard today, uh, this one place, and they. I, I'm buying all the chemicals and all the stirs and everything you need to make wine. So I got everything to make it. I got all the chemicals. and. It sounds like a lot of work when you can just go buy Yeah, wine. but it's not the same. If you can make your own wine and drink, good, make good wine. and drink. I bought a corker. Thanks for putting corks in the bottles. I got one. I got a bunch of corks. Do you Pretty have cool. bottles? No, I'm going to order them later. Oh. That, might as well make the wine first. Right. So, Anyways, I'm I can make up to 10 gallons at a time. So I got two five-gallon carboys. That's a lot and of if I get good at it, maybe I'll buy more carboys and I can make 20, 30 gallons at a time. And okay. then and then we'll just have one big wine fest. Yes, because drinking wine is so much fun. Yes, lovely hangovers. Yes. So, anyways, hey, everybody. Uh, see, you are listening to Let's Talk Ghost. Um, I'm getting into this a little early. Yes, you are. I was gonna but say, that's okay. Okay. Because we have other... Um, I just... Uh, you know, we're, we're pretty much done with this stuff for tonight. We got. I, I don't know where else, else to go with the uh, with the sound frequency thing yet. So. I don't, it's just something that really excites me because it's something that I think can really make a big difference. I think so. Oh, I got some news. Okay. Um, last night just, was just interrupt uh, me. Was the first show to go center for the season. Huh. So okay, go ahead. Well, I, I was just gonna say that you know everybody's just been doing the same thing for so long. And all the new equipment out there is just repackaged, you know. The same thing in different packages. E well, repackaged EMF meters, basically. Oh, yeah. They're, everybody's taking EMF electronics that are EMF meters, electrical magnetic field detectors, and they're just putting them in different packages. Right. That seems to be the the, the standard the, for creating new equipment right now. guess what? You want to hear something funny? Huh. There was absolutely zero proof that spirits have anything to do with electrical magnetic fields. Right, and and the problem zero and the problem not with, one iota the, of proof. The problem with things that light up to electro electromagnetic fields is you don't know what 
field is setting that off, whether it's paranormal, man-made, or natural. Right. There so, are so many magnetic, electrical magnetic fields around us so, every single day. Right. So we you, are bathed in them. So you set any EMF meter. I mean, they are tools that can be used for paranormal investigations. Oh, yeah. But, I'm not saying don't buy them. You, you, you set a REM pod or a EMF meter or a bear that lights up somewhere on a floor, on a floor or on a table, and it lights up. You you don't know a hundred percent whether that is paranormal, natural, or man-made. Right. There's no way to know. A field. Yeah. The best EMF detector is one is a analog meter. Right. Because you see the needle move in real time. There's no delay on an analog meter. The digital meters are fine, but there is a time delay on a digital meter. Well, I'm just saying that w so if you when any EMF meter goes off, there is no there is no proving it. No, that it's no. that it's paranormal. But when you're looking at it, and and you are not recording any data. Right. No, you're not recording data. I mean, they may have a data logger built into some of these at some but, point. But time, getting but, a getting a few. But what readings, is what does the data prove? Nothing. It proves nothing. It just proves that there's a magnetic field there. Right. Doesn't mean there's a ghost. No. Well, you can say, well, I got a mag field, magnetic field. Uh, Third blinking the same time I got an EVP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, all I can say is, okay. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's still not proof, but no. it, it's interesting. Yes. But is it proof? No. no. Not really. So, you know, that's, so what we're trying to do is go outside the box. Do something different. Try something different, for God's sake. Everybody is just emulating what they see on TV because that's what the TV stars are doing. If they're doing it, they became famous and rich. Right. Maybe if I do it, I'll become famous and rich. Don't work that way. No. So just start thinking outside the box. If you really love this field and you really want to advance this field, think outside the box. you got to try new things, new methods. No matter how crazy weird it sounds, try it. That's because right. You, right now, what's going on, we're just dogs chasing our tails. Nothing more. We're just stuck in the mud because everybody's doing the exact same thing. And it's That's just, the way it's been for the last decade, decade, decade and a half. Everybody's just, it's the same, 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 same every night, every yeah. every every show, every, every time you go out ghost hunting, every time you go out and do this stuff, it's the same, 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 same. And you get, yeah, you get occasional EVP, you get an occasional little something, but that's not enough. We need, and, and that stuff can all be faked. And we need repeatable evidence. We need, in, in order to prove this field, you have to have repeatable evidence almost on demand. Right. So if we can develop a frequency that we can communicate with, that's what we got to do. Okay, we're about out of time. Hey, look, if you're listening to Let's Talk Ghosts, you can check us out every week. Just go to www.letstalkghost.com. You can check. No, I got a quick change on DTM Wicked Radio. No, not DTM. It's uh, Diversity. Diversity, Di Diversity yeah. Broadcasting right. Network. Our show has been moved to 10 o'clock on Friday nights. So no you can longer, check us out. No longer 8 to 9. Nope. It's now 10 to 11. Right. Now, you can still see us from 8 to 9 and DTM Wicked Radio listen on Sunday us. night. What's that? Listen to us. You can listen to us. You said see us. You can see us. Oh, you can listen to us. Yeah. yeah. You can also go to Facebook. Look for, search for Let's Talk Ghost. You can go to Twitter. Search for Let's Talk Ghost. We're almost at 7,000 followers. Awesome. And uh, what else we, did I miss? Uh, you can check us out on YouTube. Just go to our website. There's a direct link to about 11 of our shows. You can check them out. See what we yeah. look like. We're a bunch of goofy guys. Pretty much. And uh, that's about it. Did I leave anybody out? No, you're good. All right. Hey, guys. Just remember, when you're on an investigation, you are the best piece of equipment out there. Everything else are just things that take batteries. We will see you all on the next investigation.